Hello and welcome back everyone to another Tin Shadow video. Today we are on lesson number nine in the IFR series by FS Academy. Today's lesson we are going to learn about standard instrument departures or SIDS. So let's begin. seen how to arrive at an airport on instruments, we'll demonstrate how to depart. Standard instrument departures, or SIDs, are an organized way of departing an airfield and beginning an IFR flight. Airports will have a wide selection of SIDs, depending on runway and use, departure direction, and occasionally even for aircraft type. This will be a Barton One Tango departure, which takes us off Liverpool's runway 27 turning right and right again to track a radial from Wallasey VOR, climbing to 4,000 feet. To display the nav aids correctly, ensure that you can see the DME distance for India Lima Quebec, which is actually the ILS frequency, and set bearing 2 to Wallasey VOR. You may wish to set the altitude bug to 4,000 feet, as it's important not to climb any higher than this until cleared to do so by ATC. This is also stated on the chart. When you're ready with your avionics set, line up on runway 27. Golf Alpha Charlie cleared for line up and take off runway 27, wind 270 at 10. Okay, so we are ready to go. Um, if you look at the chart that I just put on the screen, looks like when we get to about 1.5 DME from the uh, localizer frequency we are going to make a right turn on heading 019 and then we are going to continue on that heading until about 10 DME from the Wallace VUR then we're going to make a right turn on uh, heading 081 and continue on so it would need to be between three and four thousand feet uh, by that 10 DME from the Wallace or Walton VUR so Alrighty, so let's do this. Sixty knots, gently rotate. Aim for about eighty five. Knots in the climb. So we're at 0.1 DME at the moment. Continue climbing straight ahead until your DME indicates 1.5 miles. Climbing to altitude 4,000 feet. All right. Coming up on 300 feet, so we'll bring up the flaps. All right, we need to trim. Here is 1.5 DME, turn right to track no, 019. There's a westerly wind of around 10 knots, so applying 10 degrees of drift gives us a target rollout heading of 009. Use the G1000's magenta colored track diamond to help you. Great, but we're not uh, at 1.5 DME yet. Now we'll just follow this course until about, um, let's see, 10 DME uh, for my nav two. We need to be between three and 4,000 feet for this. Eight point nine DME. Now the needle should start to uh, get closer, so before we can make our turn, keep watching the CDI bar, and once it approaches center, 
Make a right hand turn to intercept the 081 radial from Wallace VOR. All right, so we're coming up on our minimum altitude of 3,000 feet, so we're doing good there. Nice view of the city. Looks like a heart shape down there. That bar is uh, coming closer to the arrow. Be making a right hand turn to 081 here shortly. We're not quite to 10 DME, but I think we're good here. Let's make our turn to 081. Continue going up to let's see, 4,000 is our next one we need to be at. Keeping the CDI centered, continue to track the 081 radial. Yes, sir. I need to continue on my turn a little bit. I was just looking at my chart. All right. Remember to level off at 4,000 feet, which is this departure's initial climb altitude. Yes, sir. Remember to climb above your initial altitude until cleared by air traffic control. All right. Bar should come back here shortly. We're almost at 4,000. Okay, so let's turn back on to capture that. There we go. Not too bad. Golf Alpha Charlie, climb now to altitude 6,000 feet. All right, 6,000. As instructed, climb now to an altitude of 6,000 feet. on the 081 radial, maintain 6,000 feet. 100 to go. All right, let's start bringing that nose down. Hit the 6,000, there we go. All right, we're at 6,000, we're almost Barton. complete the SID, we would continue on the 081 radial all the way to Barton. But that's the end of this lesson. Continue to fly if you wish, or press escape to exit. Well, all right, folks, that's it for another lesson. We did the SID one much better than the ILS, so that's a good thing. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.